Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. Woo! <laughs> All funding aside and video tricks aside, because we never aim a loaded blowgun or slingshot, even when we're making the videos and it looked like that, that's all video tricks. Chris is right there filming the behind the scenes. Like a <gasps> So yeah, that's the most dangerous part of our whole stunt is putting a piece of ammo in and pretending to choke. I think I could pass that without an issue. Oh. Oh, I thought we were having him swallow it and then throw it up. No, we're not. <laughs> But I've wanted to make this for a long time. Blowgun versus slingshot. I did one in the past where we just did a shoot off. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> oh! But now we've got some really cool blowguns we've been selling on the website. We got the uh, Cold Steel, which is kind of a big bore with a big... Uh, you might have seen Tim Wells. He actually shot a bear with one of these. As the bear slowly moved back my way, I took cover behind a deadfall crazy and then we got some of these cheaper versions which is like i think it's like a 40 caliber and then there's like a 30 caliber from the cold steel we're gonna go out and have some fun with these and test speed power and accuracy against the slingshot one of the coolest things though about a blowgun is how easy it is to make a target and how safe it is to shoot these inside unlike a slingshot where you're shooting and ricochets can mean broken glass and different things a blowgun all you need is like seven layers of cardboard of amazon boxes stick them together drive your darts into them from any distance they're really fun to shoot kids can shoot them fill your belly with air But, of course, we're going to make it overly complicated and make some targets on my laser. And I just had this last minute idea. These are such a simple dart from Cold Steel. And I think I can make my own darts on the laser. So let's whip out some darts, whip out some targets, and then go outside and have some fun. This is the Muse laser from Full Spectrum. They gave me this a couple months ago. Instantly became a very important part of my business. It's an employee that I don't have to pay anything. <laughs> no, but seriously, the shovel I used to win alone season three and we sell on the website, I always hand engrave those, but the orders are just too many nowadays to be able to keep up with. So I programmed the Muse laser to create a template that holds all these shovel handles in place. And then I added my signature through their software, duplicated it, and zap. Now we can keep up with orders on the website and everybody actually gets to have a signed shovel. It's also allowed me to design slingshot pouches and cut them out in the hundreds after only designing one and just hitting duplicate. It can cut up to a quarter inch piece of plywood, so the only limitations are really your creativity. Check out the link below if you want to know more about the Muse laser. As well as using it to make some darts and targets for today's adventure, I've been designing some new pouches for our new line of mischief pouches that will be available soon on the website. This first one's called the Chimera. It's a cross between microfiber and heavy marine canvas, making it more sturdy and durable and allowing you to shoot longer and have more fun. I even went so far as to reach out to my brother Joseph Fowler in Vermont. He's quite the artist, and so he's designed a mascot for each of the pouches. This is what he came up with for the Chimera. It turned out pretty awesome. And Matt and I plugged the basic slingshot pouch into Affinity Designer and tuned it up a little bit for our new design.
step lightly, you're gonna mess up my lawn. This is muddy. Is there still good ice in the pond? That looks awful thin. We're ice skating. Oh. I can get off of there. Yeah, that's, that's open water. Not even ice there. <laughs> so we'll start maybe with the boring stuff. We'll do some little speed test between this and the smaller caliber ones, and then against the slingshot. Uh, I'll go first. 84. Ooh. 104. All right. The trick with the uh, blow gun is to air in your belly just like when singers talk about don't blow with the rib cage you gotta like you gotta let it all hang out you <gasps> and then and then blast all that air out 107 all right let's see what you can do chris oh wow garbage 101 116. 116. That was a fluke. All right. <laughs> Small, early at the smaller caliber. <laughs> 126. Oh, yeah. It's a smaller caliber though, so it just goes. It's lighter. It moves faster. 108. Why don't you try the uh, the cold steel little caliber? 129. One twenty-one. Let's see. This is my normal playing around seven sixteenth steel with those new pouches you just saw me make. Where our whole line of new mischief pouches, and uh, this one's the Chimera. And uh, let's see what she does. This is what I shoot every day. Oh. Two. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's been a little while since we chronoed a slingshot. 224. Two twenty-seven. Two eighteen. So it's literally twice as fast. And we almost forgot about it. My homemade ones here. Let's we'll see how fast these guys go. <laughs> Sixty. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I had to blow so hard because so, I didn't make them all that perfect. The test one was great, and then I made them all, and they all are too tight. Let me try it one more time. What in the metal? 80. Are you kidding me? 80. Holy dude. That's like not a thin pot either. That's pretty good. We've hit that pot with the slingshot a whole bunch of times. Never put a hole through. Well, that takes us to our next segment is power. Apples and onions, I know, slingshots. So we got apples and onions. We're gonna see how many apples versus onions the blowguns or slingshots can puncture. These are good onions. Sorry, onions. Let's see if we get a couple in a row. There we go, four apples, four onions. Razor tip versus onions. Okay, we just gotta hit the target. <laughs> Go. Two onions. Oh wow, I did not think it would even get through the first one. I'm gonna be Really? Honest. Yeah. Oh, that went a little deeper. Oh, loosen your cup so the uh, uh, bar continues. Yes, oh, I forgot about that. What was it, who said that? Tim, Tim Wells? Well, so we can so you there. loosen the cup on the end so it can sink in further to your game when you shoot it. Maybe wet it, spit in it. I don't know, so the cup pops off either. Oh, come on. <laughs> I this, to is, uh, this is uh, definitely not a COVID friendly sport. You definitely, everybody has to have their own blow gun when you play these kind of games. All right, loosened cup. Oh, I know the cup might Perfect. just be stuck in the onion. Through. Oh, yeah, oh, the cup's nice. one. Keep going. Oh, it's. Oh, yeah, it All went through, through two onions and then it's down, stuck in the target. Oh, that oh. could have kept going. We got to do that again. Loosen the cup. Put it on. Ah, getting Ooh, low. But no, you went all the way. Look. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
it, really good. It's all the way into the third onion. Wow. Go get Noah. Are oh, you just gonna uh, text him? Yeah, I was gonna call him. Zach, did you know I wanna get Zach, are you wearing started? my boots right now? <laughs> did you wear my boots? Yes. Oh. Well, that's gross. Noah, do you know why you were brought here today? Uh, Chris told me you needed my blowing abilities. Correct. <gasps> did that just go fully through? No, no I missed. missed. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. That's like, grab another one. That's insane. <laughs> There we go. I don't think that we're gonna get I, through. I, I I saw. Oh yeah, you went right to there. Yeah. So you didn't go any further than I did. Mm -mm. I could really smell the onion. I know, right? I'm not excited to smell my boots after Zach takes them off without socks on. <laughs> you park your boots where I park my boots. What do you think is gonna happen? I was wearing house slippers so that my feet wouldn't smell later. Yeah, well, mm. pretty comfortable, pretty worn in. <laughs> Oh, that, went that all was the way through. through. That was through. Did it hit them all though? Yeah. See, I see a little drip of stuff here, here. Where's the dart? Oh, um, maybe it didn't go through. Maybe it went through two, the and then it's right there, stuck in. It's stuck in. Oh, mm. that's got apple juice on it. Oh yeah, they're all the <laughs> confirmed kill. kill. Yeah, stuck on it, and then <laughs> throw it back in the pile of darts. Why don't you? Here's your, here's your tip. I'm gonna reuse it. That's my, that's my lucky dart. That went through the apple. Yeah. Uh, tip stuck in the third one. Perfectly though. Ooh, that, that went was through the one. Back one. I think you got it. Noah sunk it into the third apple. Pretty much all the way deep. All right, slingshot's turn. I don't need to get so close as all that. Not with the slingshot. I, I just don't feel like this is even going to be a fair comparison because <laughs> we know this goes twice as fast. This is going to do so much damage. It wasn't a direct hit. These apples never had a chance. How about the onions? So I'm just gonna put up three onions with a slingshot because I'm pretty sure it can only go through it maybe into the second one, but I think that'll be like, I'll have to be dead on. 33 feet. Ooh, let's see how far it went. It went through that one, and it's in this one. So that was a good shot. Dead center. Went right through it. Came out pretty much close center on this one. Went into the center of the next one. Let's see how far. How far it went. We gotta get our way to the middle here. Oh, it, it kind of went in. And just like I thought, the onion curved it. It went through and it hit the core and it kind of deflected back out towards the back side. Three layers from coming out the back side of the onion. So yours went one layer shy of three onions. Yeah. The onion's catching up on me. I gotta watch it down with a pickle. <laughs> so now we gotta do some accuracy. I'm gonna put a couple pickles on here. Now I bite a little fat flat bottom on it. Oh, okay, that one's yours then. With you, you piece. Why would you do this to us? Put him in. I'm stuck in a nail. Nut your plaything. Let me go. Oh. First try. First try. That's crazy. Nice. Nah, Cut his head right off. My head is a pickle. Oh, boom! Cut his head off again. Four hit. Uh, that's the one he took out, knocked right down. This guy, you can almost put him back together again. All right. I know, you cut his head right off. Now it's time to say goodbye, little pickles. You're done. <laughs> Every single one of them. I could take it at 33 feet. 10 yards. Regulation. I just nicked that guy, because that was the one that Chris had already cut in half. Hmm? <laughs> How did that one not go down? I think you grazed his head. I grazed it. of pickle pie. Three down, one miss, or a graze. Mm. There we go. 
That's what we're looking for. Ooh. Nice. That That's what we're looking for. Now the leaner. Oh! oh. Took, <laughs> took a chunk right out of his neck and he fell off the side there. I'm surprised. 716s didn't completely destroy him. Well, I mean, yeah. So I, I think it actually shows that the blow guns can be quite accurate. I mean, you've only been practicing oh. for several lunch times that I know of and uh, you managed to pull that off. That's whereas fun. we've been playing around with slingshots together for years. a good two or three years. And that's what we get for accuracy out of that and damage. So I think that says something about the blow gun. Did you just, ew. They're still good. There's so much mud down there. They're still good. Yeah, I guess. A little extra flavor. All right, well, let's set up our woods course. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, let's set up the woods course. And uh, I think we got a twist. We're gonna make a little twist to it. Instead of just uh, setting up some targets, these little cutouts that I made, I think we'll play like a game of pig. So you get a chance and uh, we can make it a little bit more like a relay course. How about that? Having trouble focusing because of your onion breath is blowing <laughs> in my face. Is it still that good? It's still there. For sure. <sighs> but yeah, so well, like, can... a little, little competition. competition. Do a little competition? All right, let's do it. Burrow. Gonna hang up the slingshot and we're gonna go blow gun versus blow gun. The big bore blow guns this time. Chris has got his, he's retrieving some darts. And we got our little targets we just put out in the woods. Yeehaw. We'll flip a dart to see who goes first. Oh. And we'll flip it. And ow! Oh, going towards you. Oh, Alright, you get yeah. to go first. Okay. And you just pick your distance and then I'll copy you. Oh! Ooh! Ah! That's there we a... go. Headshot. I'm just going center map. Yeah, so that's, not... that's three points for Chris. Although I should aim smaller. Ooh, low. Oh! Ooh, that was nice. That's a 10. Nice. Nice. 13. That's one dead bunny. Shoot All right, so we're shooting from the dirt. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Through and through. No, that was a, a just graze? between the tail and the neck. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's three. A, that's a three. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I like that position. That's like that's fun. That's like a forever spot right there. Something about shooting a teacup bore. I don't like a tea <laughs> a teacup bore. Oh. I bet it's got some tender meat on that. I think we should make this the long one. You're better at long shots. Right here. Do I have to stand in the mud too? You indeed do. <laughs> but I got crocs on. More shot. You gotta curve it around the tree. Ah, oh, way short. <laughs> yeah. Man, oh. Oh, man, Chris, that's longer than I thought. Ah, my turn. Man. I gotta stand in that. Ah, I can almost feel it between my toes. Wow, that's a, it is a ways off. Oh, no! Three shots. Three shots, what do you think it is? I think that was a 10. That's a 10. Nice job, dude. Right here, back to the tree. Okay. Uh, close range, but this is a chance to redeem yourself because there's a 20 on here. Oh! All right, just, just hold it right there while I yeah. do my thing. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, come Ooh, on! Oh, fail. What? 
How'd you manage to stick it in that way a mess? I don't know. You got this. Oh! What happened there? I hit him, but like I knocked him off. Uh, I would say that counts as my hit. I don't get anything else because we did say three shots or one hit. Okay. So I got nothing. Oof. Oh my gracious. There we go. Headshot. Alright. It. All right, next one. Okay, hopefully it's a little big, bigger. Oh, we got the raptor. Okay, marker dart. <sighs> ah, tail shot. That one fly weird, or was it just me? Uh, that was it. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I... Another five. Oh, just let it just like drop. I've been the one practicing. You haven't even shoot anything. I was practicing for a couple weeks. Oh, you were? Before all of this. She right. went to blow dart school for a semester before yeah. this. We're on the woodchuck or the uh, groundhog or whatever you call them from wherever you live. Right here from this tree. Oh, I felt the wind take it. I should have waited. Oh, that's it. Three darts. Nice. Ah, I think that was just wood. Yep. Oh no, I got it. In his hand. You did. Time to take out Squidworth, but like Chris says, the calamari shot has to be done from up there. Each shot, you have to climb up, and then you slide down, and then you climb back up. Oh, yeah, so you're like exhausted. <laughs> it's part of it. Oh, that was almost first try. Through and through, I think. I do not see any uh, holes or grazing. Oh. Ooh, that's a three. So if this is the last round, then I don't even have to shoot this. I'm gonna shoot it for fun. Give me one more dart. Or we have to have a bonus round to give you a chance to redeem yourself? I'll do a bonus round. A bonus round? A All right, John gets yeah. to make up the bonus round. After I shoot the octopus. Oh, oh you kidding first me. try. Yeah, that was, like uh, so was that a 10 pointer? Uh, or I, just a three? No, just another three. Not that it matters, you already won. Because <laughs> the slide goes whoop and so you're like What are we doing for the bonus round? So Chris can redeem himself. Uh, I think I gotta work up a little You gotta work up a plan? Alright, we'll let you work up a plan, we'll clean up. All right, so, no, you gotta, what you gotta do is you gotta get prone on your bellies uh, and go underneath that. No. And then you gotta crawl all the way to the edge, crawl on your bellies, all the way to the edge of the pond and from the other side of the pond, you gotta shoot the, uh, the raptor. Is this a timed thing or what are we doing? Uh, it's just the first one to, uh, to shoot it. The first one to shoot it wins? Wins. Okay. We're gonna need this to be bigger if we're gonna go at the same time. Hold that. You guys are already changing my very, very carefully designed. Well, no, but if you said first one at the same time, so. I bled for this. 
Uh, you can go on the low side because you're the you're the young guy, so you so you got to get low. Get low. Okay. All right, John. I think I'm just gonna go in my socks. You're gonna go in your socks? Oh my! I feel like I'm just gonna lose oh, my shoes. Oh, so, so relaxing. <laughs> Therapeutic. Ready? All right, let's do this. All right, ready? Before it gets night and cold. Before it gets, yeah. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Ready? What are you doing? Wait, I just don't, I just want to make sure the GoPro's on. You're serious. You Class. are serious. He was serious. Oh yes, my goodness. On. Classic on. move. <laughs> I should have just like. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's not Oh, yeah. Oh, and I only have to go. Yeah, I lost the shoe. Oh, my mouth. Uh, Nothing's a little dirty. Oh. Oh. My ammo. My darts are all muddy. Got it. Oh. oh. You got it. Photo finish. That was like I I'm hit. But you got it. I'm rolling. Are you rolling? Yeah, you got to claim your prize across. Oh, what? How did he go? <laughs> well, <laughs> I can't be shown up by a young guy. I got to get cleaned off. Oh, got to get cleaned off. Oh, cleaned oh off. Oh. How is that so deep? Dude, it's like 15 feet deep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is icy. I did not expect. I your hat. Ah. Oh, 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 Wait a minute. I had 39, 40. That puts us at a tie again. Oh, another shot. <laughs> I would Tune in next week. Tune in next time. For the hunting I'm part. not doing another tiebreaker because it wasn't even, now we're done. So that's blow guns and slingshots. I think they're pretty fun. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna dry off. I'll see you in the next one. Fowler and Chris, see you out. Guys. I, I didn't expect you to disappear like that. It's deep. I was like, oh, he's gone. <laughs> Give it to him just like that, too. Just still rolling? Yeah, just still rolling. Let him put that on. Why is it so muddy?